The AICT Hub Foundation organized an event called the MedTech Innovation Meet. The main objective was to bring together healthcare startups and professionals to explore revolutionary technologies in the field of healthcare. The event aimed to create a community focused on improving healthcare and provided a platform for startups to present their innovative ideas to doctors and hospitals. So today we had an event healthcare uh, program event called MedTech Innovation Meet where we had 20 hospitals coming here and uh, who are uh, who all attended and listened to uh, pitches from 13 startups. So all these startups are innovations in the areas of healthcare. We uh, uh, trained uh, roughly around 20,000 people in the last six years. We assess them to understand what are the major problems and the major problems are around joint mobility, uh, the strength of muscles which is not good. And all of this can be resolved by doing some functional movement as simple as the seven foundational movement on a daily basis. So we are making a unique protocol where uh, we have a trade secret in that. And we are making a unique point here uh, with the evaluations of the patient's uh, values. So I have done a protocol of 61 diseases where we made a software which can generate a protocol once the disease is diagnosed. And so what we basically do for period pain, if we have period pain that is, is use methyl first at least 3 to 4 per every month. And one of the main problems with this is that we have a lot of side effects, right? And we also don't know how the treatment is progressing. So what through our uh, HITSOL Biomed we've developed a device is a period pain stimulation and relieving device. It helps in monitoring period pain and also relieving period pain. And it also helps for PCOD, PCOS, and fertility tracking for people who are trying to have children. We are at our first MedTech Innovation event today. Uh, we had about 12 of our startups and about uh, 30 doctors from large hospitals here. The intent was to provide two way exposure for the startups to be able to talk about what they were doing, what problems are they solving, and to get some feedback and potentially opportunities for them to work with these hospitals. In some cases, some of the doctors can work as mentors and so on. So I think it was overall a good experience. The first of its kind and obviously we will do better as time goes on. This is one of the initiatives where we wanted to build a healthcare ecosystem in this region by bringing the customers and also the healthcare innovators together and we wanted to do it you know, on a continuous basis every year. So we have been in this healthcare domain for the last three years. So this is our third cohort of a healthcare program with around 15 startups. So, so far we have nurtured around 50 healthcare startups who have grown to different levels. They are, you know, they have been served at different stages. So we look forward to building a very strong healthcare ecosystem so that we can strengthen the infrastructure, healthcare infrastructure needs of this country. So the hospitals were, you know, for them it is like a, you know, eye opener, you know, they now understand like what kind of innovations the startups are coming up with and uh, you know how far they can utilize these innovations to further you know you know enrich their service to the you know patient or healthcare community so they are ready to share their support some of them have extended their interest to mentor them and a few of them are also you know interested in trying out these products you know, as part of their uh, you know, hospital networks and this is a good opportunity for these young startups to get a customer pilot and then reiterate their product and move ahead uh, you know, as part of the startup life cycle is concerned.